This is really incredible. Your name is Jane, but you go by Princess Etch, right? Yeah. And you, in fact, your high school teachers called you, one of your high school teachers called you Etch-a-Sketch, right? Yeah. And you've turned, really, Etch-a-Sketch into an art form. How did you get started with this? So I would go visit my grandma on weekends, and she wouldn't really let me watch TV that much. And to fight off the boredom, I would just play with an Etch-a-Sketch. That's incredible. Did you realize pretty quickly that you had a gift for this? I didn't even realize that other people couldn't do this until I was around 12 years old. So you've done previous work. You've traveled all sorts of places. You've done things in museums. What's your favorite one that you've ever done? Ooh, my favorite Etch-a-Sketch I've ever done, I did a full-scale rendition of a skeleton, and that used 11 Etch-a-Sketches. And you went to, like, visit the Taj Mahal and did that one in person, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been to India, I've been to Paris, all over the U.S., thanks to Etch-a-Sketch. All right, so I didn't tell you this, but I thought we were just going to interview you, but how about we do an Etch-a-Sketch challenge? Does that sound like fun? Ooh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to a place, we're going to put the drone up and show the Chicago skyline, and you and I are going to Etch-a-Sketch the Chicago skyline, okay? Oh, that sounds great. All right, so here's the thing is that all of these these couple ones you've seen here are permanent this one I don't know if you can see, get a good look at it Sh did you just sketch this like just to do a little intricate sketch here in the morning or yeah yeah I like to often just kind of do practice at just sketches so this one's incredible but you can shake this one off oh yeah, yeah this, this is like one. a masterpiece you're just about to shake it off yep, yep all right I'm let's do it right now it's all gone and we're gonna start over and we're gonna do a view of the Chicago skyline how oh, did that feel okay erasing that Oh, yeah. Okay. This is an awesome project, but I got to ask you, Princess Sketch, or Etch, have you ever done anything in this cold of weather? No. <laughs> It'll be warm enough later, but it is chilly now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you try and replicate the skyline. Have you ever etched the skyline before? I have, but not from this angle. Oh, from the South Loop? Yeah, a really cool angle. And for a better look, let's take a look at the drone jam cam. You can just see it's an incredible look at our gorgeous city here. And you can see that it provides a great view of Willis Tower, of course, the Aeon Center. Uh, we got other buildings there as well, of course, maybe even parts of the Hancock. So uh, you think you're going to be able to replicate what we're seen on the drone oh yeah even in an hour you think you're gonna be able to do at least you know some detail oh yeah I'm up for the task how long do you normally spend on a project so it definitely depends on the size and subject matter but I can do a portrait in as little as about five minutes that's absolutely incredible and so what you actually do is obviously people wonder they're like oh you create a masterpiece then you shake it out and it's gone forever you found a way to actually make it permanent right yeah so what I do is I drill a hole in the back of the etch -a sketch and then I remove that powder from the inside so when you shake it there's nothing left that can recoat the image and what's really cool is obviously you're an art student you're trained in all these sorts of things but now you make a living out of it. you actually sell etch -a sketches with the, with the final product on there right Oh, yeah, yeah. So I sell my work. If you go to princessetch.com, you can buy my work there. And I'm also going to be in person at the Chicago Toy and Game Fair on November 17th and 18th at Navy Pier. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I've got my etch -a sketch You've got yours. And we're going to be sketching these things. So in an hour, you think you'll be able to give us a complete view of the Chicago skyline? Oh, yeah. All right, so what is the most challenging work you've ever done? Oh, man. So uh, a lot of architectural stuff can actually be more challenging. So architectural work uh, to an extent, as well as some of my more detailed portraiture is really challenging. Interesting. I thought the architecture might be easier because of straight lines, but it's, it's actually harder to do. Yeah, there's less forgiveness when it comes to architectural forms. You have to be more exact with it. Okay. Do you think I'm going to be able to do this? I think you're going to do a good job. Oh, I like the confidence there. Yeah. All right, so you're about ready to go? Oh, yeah. You ready to etch? Oh, definitely. All right, on the marks, get set, go. We're etching, guys. I'm losing this Etch-A-Sketch competition. And Jane, are you having some, some fun so far? Oh, yeah, I'm having a blast. Is, and so have you ever done it this early in the morning, I got to ask? No, not this early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at what we're doing here. We're going to take a look at the drone jam cam to the shot that we're going to be looking at, and we're trying to replicate on our etches here. So you can see it's a view from the South Loop. You can see Soldier Field. You can see the entire skyline. And let's take a look at mine here. My etch is uh, progressing ever so slightly. You can see I'm starting with the Willis Tower there. I've got a crane, and then I've got some abstract art there. So let's go back to the jam drone cam to give you the reference point again of what we're supposed to be looking looking at and let's take a look at now what Jane is coming up with and Jane you started on the right hand side you're starting with Soldier Field is that the most difficult part yeah I wanted to knock out the most difficult thing first with the curves so you got the thing and you can see the, that's incredible the detail that you've got going on there how did you learn how to do this well I just played with it a ton as a kid and I inadvertently taught myself all right, so you got about 20 to 25 more minutes. Do you think you're going to be able to finish the rest of the skyline? I'm going to try the best I can. I think I will. And do you have any advice for me and for my critique here? Keep at it. 
it. You did a really good job with the crane. I did a good job with the crane, guys. I love that. Keep at it. You sound like my mom, the art teacher. Just keep at it, John. I'll do that, and you'll do that too, right? Yeah, All definitely. Right. All right, guys, we're going to keep on etching. This is absolutely incredible, guys. Yes, and have you been having fun, Princess Etch? Oh, I've had a blast. I cannot believe the work that you've been able to do in really about an hour, but we've had to interrupt ourselves, obviously, with reports. So it's pretty incredible. So to give you reference what we're drawing today, let's take a look at the Jam Drone Cam, and we're taking a look at the gorgeous view of our city as the sun rises, and you can see Soldier Field in the foreground. You can see, of course, Willis Tower to the left and Hancock to the right, sneaking on in there. And then now let's show what I have done on my etch sketch Jane, what do you think about my work here? Oh, I thought you did a great job. <laughs> oh, that's really fine. See, the Soldier Field was the hardest part because it's obviously not straight lines. And then I really messed up, but it's abstract etch sketch Oh, yeah. All it's right, lovely. so let's go back up to the drone jam cam because now we're going to see one more reference point at what it's supposed to look like in the air, in the sky, the view from the south loop. And then uh, you can see just the intricate, gorgeous sunrise. And then if we take a look back here on camera now, you can see this is incredible. Jane, you did this in less than an hour. Where did you start? How did you do us walk through the process? So I started over near Soldier Field. I wanted to get that kind of out of the way first so that it would help me to figure out the size of everything else. And, you got a uh, crane there. Look at that. Yeah, I made sure to add the crane, too. That's yeah. incredible stuff. All right, where can people find out more information about what you do? So you can find more of my work at princessetch.com. Are you going to shake this one and be done with it? What are you going to do? No, I was going to give it to you. Oh, that's really nice. We got one. That's awesome. That's great. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. I just lost the... Are you... I'm sorry. I can't... Okay. Well, it's gone forever, guys. That was really cool. I'm sorry, Jane. It happens. Back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> oh my gosh, John. <laughs> he just dropped the Etch-A-Sketch, which is a beautiful piece of artwork, thanks to that young lady right there.